This can't be it. This isn't a boat. This is a freaking yacht. Hey guys, welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. We're gonna go check out a free abandoned boat. All right guys, so this morning I'm um, drinking my cup of coffee, flipping through Facebook Marketplace, and I see an ad for a free boat. So I like free stuff. I think I, we all like free stuff. So I call the guy up and I'm like, hey, you know, I see you have this free boat, you know, tell me the story. And he's like, you know, it's been sitting here for 15 years. The guy has a boat yard. It's been sitting here for 15 years and I'm tired of looking at it. It's been abandoned. The first person here gets it. So I'm kind of looking at the picture and I was like, uh, I'm like, man, it looks like a pretty big boat. So we're rushing over to my shop. I'm gonna grab my diesel truck. We're gonna go check out a free abandoned boat. You guys get to come along with and see. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what kind of condition it is. I mean, this thing might be a complete rack, holes in the hall. I don't know. Look like a cool picture. Looks like a fun adventure. So we're gonna go check it out. So someone's just gonna give you a free boat? Yeah, as long as we can get there quick enough. Because I guess there's a couple other people interested in it. It's like, it's like 6 a.m. right now. So we're like, we're like rushing down. I, I, I gotta get. It, it, it's a big boat, so. I am I have a diesel truck I usually pull stuff with, so you know we gotta go get that. But dude, you, you gotta check this thing out, man. Dude, this thing is sick. Yeah, it's man. it it looks pretty big. Yeah. Dude, that thing is crazy. Yeah, what how big how big does it say it's gonna be? I think it says 33 feet, but I mean it it, it looks bigger. So yeah, for real. Do we have something to put it on? What do you mean? Like a trailer? Oh shoot! Um, wow. Yeah. Well. Um, all right. So it looks like we're gonna go grab my truck. Gonna have to find a trailer. We'll find a trailer. So, wonder how big of a trailer it's gonna take. All right. So we're gonna go get my truck. We're gonna find a trailer. And then we're gonna go check out this boat and we're gonna, hopefully we bring it home. Hopefully it's not complete junk. All right, so I got over to the shop. I'm gonna grab my 6'4 Power Stroke F250 cause that boat looks really big. It should pull it just fine. Crutches slow me down so much. Let's get this thing fired up and gotta go find a trailer yet. I put a couple phone calls in to some trailer places in hopes to find a trailer today because we gotta hurry up and get down there. And of course the battery's dead. It's been a while since I drove this. Get a jumper pack and get this thing started. The struggle is real. Been a while since I used this truck, so it doesn't surprise me that the battery's dead. Looks like the battery is very dead. Let's run, we're gonna have to run back over to the shop. We're gonna have to get two jumper packs to get this thing started. All right, so we ran back to the shop. We grabbed jumper pack number two. Um, I don't know why this thing is dead, but I think two jumper packs ought to get it, ought to get it started. Maybe it could be all that corrosion on the battery, battery terminals. All right, so let's get this thing started up so we can go find a trailer and get on our way. Oh, whoa, hey. 
Oh man, that didn't sound good at all. Can can you can you go over and fire that up quick? But be be ready to to shut it off real quick too. Oh yeah, shut it off. Shut it off. Well, it looks like we're not going to be using the 6.4 power stroke today because it sounds like um, the rod's knocking or something. Yeah, this thing's like hasn't missed a beat and uh, has always ran great. So, so I don't I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah, maybe you guys maybe you guys know something about these 6.4s. I mean, I haven't. I haven't uh, worked on any of these. I worked on seven threes, but no six fours. But that definitely sounds like a rod knock. You know, we'll, we'll probably. I think we'll probably just take the Escalade. You think it'll be able to tow a boat? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think it'll tow it. I mean, the suspension's a little light, but but uh, that thing's like six hundred and fifty horsepower. Holy cow! Yeah, supercharged and and everything. So hopefully we don't kill the Escalade as well because it's the only thing I have to tow with other than this. At some point we're going to have to, we'll have to dig into this and, and see what's wrong with it um, and uh, get it fixed. Looks like our rebuild rescues are going to be some of the stuff that I already have at this point. Awesome. Well, let's, let's get all this stuff unhooked. Um, we got to hurry up. We're already running really far behind. We still got to find a trailer. I do have a line on two of them for some phone calls I made. So so let's get this stuff on, don't get to shut up. Let's go find a trailer. So after three different stops and talking to probably 20 different people, we got a trailer. Not only did we get a trailer, we got a huge trailer. Hopefully, I, I mean, I don't know if you can have a boat trailer that's too big. I don't know if that's a thing, but I definitely didn't want one that's too little. So we got a tri-axle trailer and it's got brakes on like every single axle and it's aluminum. I mean, it's, and, and you'd have to be here to really see it. It's huge. It's, 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 it's gotta be, I don't know, like 25 feet long. Yeah. So I, I think we could haul, like we could haul a freaking cabin cruiser on this thing. So we're going to be good to go. Let's get back in the truck. We got to hurry up cause we got to get down there. So let's go. All right, guys, so before we get on the road with the trailer to go check out this boat, I want to take a minute and talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Honey. It's this awesome tool up top of your browser and it's completely free and it saves you money. If you guys have caught any of my videos, I'm all about saving money. I mean, free airplane, free boat, free car. I love free. So I got that little button on top of my browser. All of the shopping I do, it's like saves me so much time. So what it does is all those little promo codes that you can get to get discounts on any item, pretty much anywhere in the internet, it finds it for you. Like you don't have to do anything, it finds it for you. I mean, it's, it's so awesome. So whether I'm buying auto parts, airplane parts, boat parts, house parts, anything, clothing, you know, it's, it's automatic. So you search what you want, it's gonna give you the promo code and you get the discount. So you're gonna save a ton of time, you're gonna save a ton of money. So guys, you guys gotta get Honey and make sure you click the link below and get Honey. You know, support the sponsors that support us here because a portion of every dollar that comes in from our sponsors goes right to Rebuild Rescue Charities. We're so excited for that. We're so excited to give back. Check out Honey. Thank you guys so much. Now, let's get in the road because I wanna check out this boat. So we got the trailer hooked up. We're on our way 
in the old Escalade to pick up this boat. Um, it looks like we got like a three hour drive. So yeah, totally excited to check this boat out. I'm hoping that I just didn't buy a trailer for a boat that I don't want, but, but we'll see. So maybe if, you know, Hey, if, if it's, you know, complete junk, um, you know, we don't want it. I guess at that point, we're going to have to find another boat because I have a trailer now. So awesome. We're about halfway down to where the boat is, but I wanted to take a little minute. Uh, yeah, a little minute. I wanted to take a little minute, just a little minute. I wanted to take a minute and talk about our plans here at Rebuild Rescue. I know you guys have heard me talk about community. You've heard me talk about giving, and that's what the channel's about. It's what I'm about. It's what the channel's about. It's what all the team members are about, you know, here at Rebuild Rescue. So we, we did apply for a nonprofit organization. Uh, the name of the organization is Rebuild Rescue Charities. Every single project that we do, well, most every single project we do, probably 90% of the projects that we do, once those projects are finished, we're gonna sell those projects. We're gonna likely auction them um, on some live platform. Any of the money from those uh, earnings from those projects are gonna be donated to Rebuild Rescue Charities. The 401 airplane is gonna be donated to Rebuild Rescue Charities. It's gonna be part of the charity. Um, our goal is to have a few airplanes that Rebuild Rescue Charities has or has use of and can fly missions all over the world. You know, originally it was it was fly missions like locally or in, in or, or, you know, right in the country, but we wanna fly missions all over the world. We wanna invite you guys to come along other pilots to fly missions all over the world. We also wanna donate money to different charity organizations right through RRC. So, so my goal is to complete as many projects as possible, get those projects auctioned off. Whatever profits we have, we're gonna be donating 100% of the profits. We're also gonna be donating a portion of every sponsor that we have so every one of the commercials that we have, there's gonna be a portion of whatever we get from those put into Rebuild Rescue Charities, and we're gonna donate the money. I have this crazy idea of one day being able to see that we were able to give a million dollars away. That is like a huge goal, and I really, really think we can do it, but I can't do it myself. It's, it's gotta be all of us. You guys gotta be in, you guys gotta be part of it. And I, I know we can do it. This project, you know, this, this boat, like I have this dream, we're gonna redo this boat. I wanna cruise it down the intercoastal waterways to the Bahamas. I know it's crazy, but stick with me here. And then that's the goal. Once we do that, I wanna auction it off. Highest bidder wins it, whatever we make from it gets donated. The Jeep project, we're gonna auction it off once we finish it up, it gets donated. The dump truck project, we have some things to do to that yet, the international dump truck. If you haven't seen these videos, you know, go to the channel and check them out. We're gonna finish them up, we're gonna auction them off. Whatever they sell for, they're gonna sell for. We're gonna donate the money. I'm really, really just humbled to have the ability to do that, the ability to do all these things and the reason we can do it is because of you, because of community, because of the Rebuild Rescue crew that you guys are a part of, that you guys made. And I really appreciate it. Let's get back to the drive here. I should probably watch what I'm doing. We're gonna see that boat in about an hour. And I, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully we just don't end up with a trailer we don't.
not sure where it's parked. Oh my gosh. I think this is it. But it's 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 huge. This can't be it. There's no way that's the boat. This isn't a boat. This is a freaking yacht. I don't even know if I don't even know if it'll fit on that trailer. exhaust on this thing like I've I've really big hands and it's like a it's like a five inch a five inch exhaust coming out the side yeah I'm completely blown away so when it said boat I figured boat not not boat yacht boat so this is literally it's literally a yacht this is a yacht so we get a free free abandoned yacht it's a free abandoned yacht like it doesn't even have regular out drives on. This has like the direct drives underneath the back of the boat. Like I've never had a boat with direct drives under the boat. Like what does that do? I have no, I have no idea. Maybe you guys know. Maybe you guys have had a boat like this. Like what's the difference? You know, except for you can dive off the back of the boat and not land on anything, which is probably, probably a good thing. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get in the back of the boat. It looks pretty dirty and it looks really stained up, but I don't know. I have a feeling this thing will clean up like really, really good. But look at the difference here. But I mean, I think it'd take a couple days to clean it up. The last time I cleaned a boat up that was this dirty, it came out looking really, really good. So I'm like, I'm, I'm super excited right now to get this thing back to the shop, get it in the shop, and, and you know, start cleaning it up because this thing's gonna look really good. Other than some dirt, I mean, the, the bottom paint doesn't even look that bad. I mean, I, it could use replace, but it's not bad at all. I, I gotta see the inside of this. Let's go back here, let's see. I'm gonna go the other way because it's a little easier for me to get there, but I wanna see what that, like this thing's so huge, you have to be able to like stand up inside of it. This is gonna clean right up. It's gonna look really good. So I'm not sure in my current condition how I'm gonna get up here. Dude, can, can you go see if you can find me a ladder? Yeah, hold on. So it, it does have some things growing out of it here and there. You know, you can tell, you can tell it's been here for, uh, I think they told me it's been here 15 years. So it's been here at least 15 years. Um, this whole interior is, you know, is going to have to be pulled out and everything recovered. Um, it's going to need a ton of cleaning, a ton of buffing, like days worth. But usually this gel coat, this gel coat is going to clean up really good. And if not, we can always paint it. I don't even know what, I mean, it's got a sink. What else is, what else is on a yacht? I mean, I don't even know what's supposed to be on a yacht. I've never been on a yacht. 
All right, so that's uh, looks like a lot of nothing in there. <laughs> it looks like just some storage here. Thinking the engine has to be down in here. Ah. Oh, sweet. Well, it looks like this thing has two 7.4 liter fuel injected 454 big blocks. I doubt it's very good on fuel, but I'll bet you it gets up and goes pretty good, although this thing's huge. It looks like somebody was working on that engine at one time, so my thoughts is it probably has some engine issues. You know, being that it has the, I guess it's the V drive, I don't even know what, it, what kind of drive this is called. It does have more like a car transmission that hooks to the drive underneath of it. I think they're supposed to be fairly bulletproof as well. I'll be real interested to get down in here and try to get this thing started up. It even has a built-in generator for offshore power. So if you're out in the ocean somewhere and you don't feel like coming in, you need some juice, you just turn on the generator. So I'm like, I'm really wondering if it, you know, if all this stuff works or not, because you can, you can obviously tell it's been sitting for a long time and some of the stuff's been taken apart. On a boat, one of the problems that you have is it's obviously always around moisture. So you end up having some corrosion problems. You end up having, um, you know, the, the rubber, the rubber goes bad and uh, hoses go bad and bearings go bad. Well, pretty much everything goes bad in boats. The only higher maintenance thing that you can have other than a boat would probably be an airplane. Yeah, an airplane's probably a little higher maintenance than a boat. And we have both and we have a big boat and we have a big airplane so we have uh, we're gonna have a lot of work to do but I'm super excited to get down in there now obviously today I'm not gonna get down in there because I don't think I would be able to get back out again but as soon as this knee is better we're definitely gonna be hopping in there and trying to fire these things up because I want to see if they run or not normally these boats have a ton of storage and a lot of times, like a lot of times I've bought boats, I have, I've probably bought, I don't know, four or five boats in the last, maybe like six boats in the last five years. Every time I get a boat, I get a ton of boating supplies and ropes. I have so many, so many boxes of like life jackets and ropes and just all kinds of stuff. So this, and this is no different. I mean, I don't know how good that stuff is because it's been sitting for so long. But I promise you, as we go through all the containers and compartments, there's gonna, we're going to find all kinds of stuff. Yeah, literally, literally it is a yacht. So it has a yacht certificate. I'm not really sure what that means. I think it means like you can put as many people in here as you want. And there's no limit on the amount because it's big enough that if you fill this whole thing up with people, it would still float. But yeah, it's, it's got, it's got GPS. I wonder if this actually, it could even have like GPS navigation where you set your GPS and you go and it'll literally steer the boat through different channels and, and stuff like that. So you don't hit anything. Yeah. This thing, this thing is sick. This thing is so cool. So this has on the edge of this seat, there is some things growing out of it. I'm sure there's some storage under here. And I'm sure there's going to be more ropes and more life jackets, but we'll wait to get that up until we're actually, until we get it back to the shop and we're actually cleaning it out and everything. What I really want to see is what's down here. What's it look like? What do you guys think it looks like? So before I open this door, post a comment down below. What are we going to find down here? Cause it's been sitting for like 15 years up here. It's totally disgusting. There's, there's mold, there's trees growing out of cracks. So, yeah, let's check this out.
I mean, this is like a little house down here. What do you get when you have a yacht? Well, you get a, a full kitchen, you get a microwave, you get a pretty big refrigerator for a boat, pretty much a queen size bed up front. In the back, there's a whole sleeping area down underneath with a separate table and I'm sure it folds out into more sleeping room. I'm sure this here folds into sleeping room. There is a ton of mold in here, if you can see. It's all over here. It does smell really, really strong of mold, um, but the carpet's not bad. The vinyl on the ceiling's not bad. I think with a really, really good scrubbing, you know, we could we could get all this mold off of here, and I think we could get it smelling a lot better. Man, this thing is so, this thing is so awesome. It looks like a lot of this stuff's going to have to be replaced, as far as like the upholstery and and maybe the carpet. The, I mean, the carpet could clean out if we steam it and stuff, you know. But I'm I'm not sure about getting the smell out. Like some of the mold here too is like it's like into the wood of this table. Um, not sure again if if I'd want to be eating off of this even after like cleaning it up. But maybe maybe refinishing it. One of the things that I always hated about being out in the water was. If I didn't have a place to, to use the bathroom that was comfortable. And I have a feeling that this actually does have a pretty big bathroom. And a lot of these bathrooms will have a shower head. The shower is literally part of where the toilet is. So there's a drain in the, in the, in the floor. And you pull the faucet out of the sink and that's how you get a shower. But it's really cool that it has it. Like, so you could, you could live on this. You know, well, it is a yacht. So I guess... If you can't live in a yacht, you have a problem. So yeah, you can definitely live in a yacht. Maybe I don't want to say you have a problem because it's a little negative, but if you can't stay in a yacht and be comfortable, just saying. So the other thing is like really cool about a yacht. This has an HVAC system that either runs off of shore power or runs off the generator. So you could be, you could be out in the bay, a little bit tired, you know, hop up in the bed, turn the AC on. All of a sudden, you know, you're you're chilling out literally in air conditioning. Or hey, maybe it's towards fall, you're out in the bay, you're fishing, you're a little cold, turn the heat on, come down here, make something to eat, maybe fillet your fish up. Like this thing's sick. I'm still trying to figure out like what all could be wrong with it, but um I'm not seeing a ton of stuff. It just looks like work. It looks like a little bit of work. I mean, I'm sure the engines and stuff, I mean, I'm sure one or both the engines are shot, one or both of the transmissions are shot. I'm sure the the drives may need some bearings or some service work, but I, I mean, I, I think we can save this. I think we can save this. I think we can cruise this thing down the Bahamas. I've always wanted to do that. What do you guys think? Like, what do you think is going to be wrong with this? It obviously has been sitting for a long time, so it's going to have a lot of problems. You know, what should we look at? You know, what should we expect? I mean, some of you guys probably had a yacht or, or a larger boat like this before and had problems, so. So when we grabbed, when we grabbed the trailer today, it's a tri-axle trailer, it's like really big. I don't know what the weight rating is. I just figured it was gonna be too big for this boat. In the pictures, it didn't look as big as it is. So I'm not sure if we bought a big enough trailer. All right, so the good news is the trailer's going to work. The bad news is that would definitely kill the Escalade, not to mention the state police probably wouldn't be too happy that I'm pulling a boat that is way too heavy for the Escalade and has a wider beam than the width of the road. So that boat's literally wider than the road. So we're going to have to call somebody and have an oversized load truck take this back to the shop and then we're going to, have to figure out how to get it in and out of the shop but we'll figure that out later thank you guys for coming along thank you guys for checking out the free abandoned yacht with me um, it's going to be a project we're going to do in the future we're obviously not going to do it right away but i wanted you guys just to see it i wanted to see it make sure you subscribe like the videos you, you guys know what to do thank you guys again for everything thank you for being part of the rebuild rescue crew thank you for watching take care